Now if you've got a corrugated iron roof with lead head nails which are rusting, coming loose or falling out, stay tuned. In this video we're going to replace the lead head nails with roofing screws and corrugated profile washers. Okay, we'll start off just looking at the items needed to carry out this repair. So we're going to need roofing screws. These are the corrugated profile washers. And this is the seal, so it's an EPDM seal. Basically it's a rubber seal, but um, it can withstand higher temperatures and UV. So it's good in a, a roofing environment. If you're ripping out the lead head nail out of the corrugated iron, there's a good chance that you're going to damage the existing hole, making it wider. Or if there's rust around there, you're going to see um, a larger hole there once you rip that nail out. So these seals and profile washers are really good to use, particularly where the screw head won't seal or cover the nail hole. Now how these seals and washers work is, say if we look over at this corrugated iron sheet here, if this is our hole here, what you're doing is you're just placing a seal just over that hole and then you're putting your profile washer over that and then you're just running the screw through. Okay, tool wise we're going to need a rubber mallet, a pry bar. I've also got a piece of metal pipe here. I'll show you on the roof how we're going to use that. Um, also got some pliers here. They're just used in case we break the nail head off and then you can just pull the nail out just using the pliers. And before I forget, we're also going to need a impact driver. Impact driver bits. We're going to need bits and pieces for the rust treatment. So a wire brush, some rust converter, sandpaper, a angle grinder. And lastly, we're going to need some galvanized paint. So I just use this zinc it paint here. Alrighty, so basically this is everything we're going to need to carry out this job. Now if we just take a quick look at the grinder, this is fitted with a strip pad. Now whatever method you're going to use to remove the rust off your corrugated iron roof, whether it's the grinder, wire brush or the sandpaper, you just want to be careful that you're not removing the galvanized coating from the corrugated roof. So just be careful, you're just removing that rust only. Okay, well let's get up on the roof and take a look at what we're dealing with. Okay, so we're just on the roof here and we're just taking a look at these lead head nails. So you can see that some have visible rust around the lead head nail itself and some with very little visible rust but um, if they're at this stage I normally pull them off anyway. Okay well we'll make a start, we'll remove all these nails and then we'll treat the rust. To remove the lead head nail I'm using the metal pipe in the trough of the corrugated iron roof and resting the pry bar on top to leave the lead head nail out of place. Now to remove the rust you can use a wire brush or sandpaper. I'll be using the grinder. I've um, replaced all the lead head nails on the roof that needed replacing and I just found the grinder made the job a whole lot faster. Now whatever you're using here you're just wanting to get rid of this rust patch so you want to just be careful of the galvanized coating around the rust patch and you don't want to damage that surface. Now on to our rust converter treatment stage. Now I find this kind of rust converter pretty good. The type that leaves a primer sort of coat over the top of the rust once it's converted it. Um, there are other rust converters out there but you have to wipe them off either with meths or a damp cloth. And I just find that's an extra step to the process, just uh, adding to the time on the job. 
So I'm just going to pour a little bit into this jar here. Apply the rust converter over the rust patches and wait until it's dry. Apply two coats of galvanized paint or primer and then wait until it's dry before moving on to the next step. Now that we've applied two coats of the zinc spray paint to the roof, the next step I'm just going to take is just applying two coats of house roof paint over the top. Okay, now it's time to apply our rubber washer here, our profile washer and our screw. Now with these bigger holes here, I just like to put a bead of sealant just around the edge of each hole. Although the rubber washer is going to cover that, um, it's just a little bit of extra security or seal from the weather. Okay, and we'll just place our washer on there first, then the profile washer. And next is the screw. And we'll do the same again on this hole. So our rubber seal, profile washer, and then our screw. and we'll just move on to our next ones. Now looking at these two holes here, they're in good condition, therefore I won't be using the sealant on these. Okay, so same thing again, rubber washer, profile washer, and our roofing screw. Well that brings us to the end of another video, we've successfully replaced the lead head nails with screws. Now if you're going to be painting your roof after doing this job, it's a good idea just to put a couple of coats of paint over these profile washers before you start. And you'll also find the paint will seep in behind the profile washer and the roof, acting as an additional seal. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.